Hello and welcome to day eight of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're gonna to show you how to change any color of any object in Photoshop. So today we're talking about changing colors in Photoshop. Now this is gonna involve first selecting the object that you wanna change the colors, as well as choosing the individual colors, changing the hue, saturation, and lightness. We're gonna show you how to make it look completely realistic and even how to add gradients. Let's go ahead and jump in. So if you wanna follow along, you can download this sample image totally free. Just click on the link right down below. We're gonna move to our layers panel and you can see we have our background layer. Now to change colors, we're gonna be using a hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'm gonna change my workflow a little bit so we can see that better. We're gonna take our adjustments right over here and I'm gonna click and drag and dock this right next to everything. If you don't see your adjustments panel, simply go to window and then down here to adjustments. We're gonna do the same thing with my properties panel. I'm gonna take my properties panel and drag that right over here. So we're gonna see all of this at the same time. We're gonna have our layers visible. We're gonna see our adjustments and our properties. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and move our image right over there. So we're gonna be using our hue saturation adjustment layer. Anytime you wanna convert one color to a different color, the hue saturation layer is the way to go. Now, before I start with my hue saturation adjustment layer, we always want to make a selection of the object we want to change. And in this case, we're gonna be selecting our Volkswagen bus here. So I'm gonna go right over here to our object selection tool. This has gotten a lot of new updates recently. It has AI, cloud-based processing. All you have to do is simply click on the object that you want to change the color. So let's go ahead and click there. You're gonna see it's gonna turn this Volkswagen into a selection. So always make sure you have the selection of the object that you'd like to change color first, and then you can use your hue saturation adjustment layer. So now that we have our selection active, let's go ahead and click here in our adjustment panel. We're gonna to go to hue slash saturation. Fantastic. So we can see we have our hue slash saturation adjustment layer, and here's our layer mask that we loaded up from our selection, and that's gonna make sure it's only adjusting colors right here on the Volkswagen, the object that we actually selected with the object selection tool. Okay, let's go ahead and click on our adjustment layer and we have our properties panel. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit larger so we can see everything. And we also have options here in our contextual taskbar. Let's go ahead and talk you through the options panel here in your properties window. So because we have a layer mask already applied, I can click on each one of these colors and adjust these colors individually. Now let's say we wanna go ahead and adjust this kind of orangish yellow that's with our Volkswagen. I don't see that exact color here, but this yellow color is pretty similar. So let's go ahead and click here on our yellows. Now, when we wanna dial in a very specific color, which is most of the time, go ahead and make a selection of your colors right up here at the top, and then use your eyedropper tool. So go ahead and click on your eyedropper tool, and we're gonna select here right on the color that we'd actually want to affect, and it's going to dial that very specific color in. So now we can actually see the color that we selected originally, which was the yellow, it actually changed to this orange color. Okay, so now that we have this orange color selected and we have a layer mask that's only gonna be visible on our bus, I can simply move our hue slider. And as I move my hue slider, we can see it's gonna take that very specific orange and start to allow us to adjust the hue of that orange. Let's gonna kind of bring it to maybe, there we go, like a, <laughs> this is a really fun color. So I can adjust my hue, I can adjust my saturation of this color, which is how much or how little of the color I want, and I can adjust the lightness of this color too, which is really cute. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring this back to the default place, but we're gonna leave the hue slider where it is. I'm gonna move into my image just a little bit, and let's go ahead and turn this layer off and on by clicking on this eyeball icon. And you can see, in fact, it did change the color of the Volkswagen, but you can see it started to change some color of some other things as well, like these lights here, that light there, you know, this object as well. So what that means, I haven't done anything wrong with my hue saturation adjustment layer. That means I need to update my layer mask to not include those areas. Keep in mind, a hue saturation adjustment layer is gonna search for everything that has a similar color of what you click on and change that color. So if you don't wanna include specific little details that might have a similar color, that's when you're gonna to need to use your layer mask. 
Let's go ahead and click here on our layer mask, and then I'm gonna hit B for my brush tool. I'm gonna go ahead and right click, and we're gonna make our hardness all the way up to 100%, and we can change our brush size by making this larger or smaller here, or the open and close brackets. So now what we're gonna do is paint black. So I'm gonna hit uh, D for my default colors on my keyboard, and then hit X and make sure black is my foreground color. This is simply gonna make that invisible for my hue saturation adjustment layer. Okay, you can also click on your color here and just go right down to black. Fantastic. So let's just go ahead and zoom in and I'm gonna paint black right here over top of our little headlights. You know what, I'm gonna right click and bring our hardness down just a little bit, okay? There we go. We're gonna do the same thing for this little headlight here and move in and paint this over here. So what I'm in fact doing right now is I'm painting black on my layer mask which is hiding this hue saturation adjustment layer in this area. So it's revealing the original color through this adjustment layer, okay? Basically saying, hey, don't affect the areas where I'm painting black. Let's go ahead and paint black on the mirrors. And then everything here inside, you know, we wanna leave this all at the original color as well. We don't need all this to be changing color. You could have it do if you wanted, but I think it looks a little bit better if we have a little bit more control and actually choose what we want to change color. Fantastic. And there we go, that looks really good. So at this point, we can just turn this layer off and on and see, did it change only the colors that we actually want in this image? And yes, this looks really good. So a hue saturation adjustment layer is fantastic because you can change at any time your colors, your hue, saturation, and lightness. So let's go ahead and back to our hue saturation adjustment layer. And here you can see in our properties window, we have now this color. So we'll explain to you kind of how this works. Remember, we chose our color originally by clicking on the yellow, and then we chose an eyedropper to specifically choose this color. And what we see is this is the original color that it was, and this is the color that we've converted it to being. So now it's gone from orange to this kind of green color. And I can change this at any time. Simply by moving my hue slider around, I could turn this into a red Volkswagen. I could turn it into a gray Volkswagen if I wanted to. I could make it really, really saturated. And I can even change my lightness. I could go to a white Volkswagen and I could even go all the way to black with my lightness slider. So any of these settings can be changed at any time. And I don't know, I, I'm kind of partial to this like kind of sea foam green. Let's add a little bit of lightness. I just think that's a super, super cute color. But any of these settings I can change at any point in time. Now, if you have something like very, very specific that you'd like to change up, let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit more. So we've already changed the color of our Volkswagen, but let's say we wanna change the color of this foliage here as well. So for this, we could try to make a selection of all this green area if we wanted to with our object selection tool, but because it's pretty much the only green in my image, I should be able to select it within my hue saturation adjustment layer. So we're gonna create another hue saturation adjustment layer. Okay, so let's go right here into our adjustments. We're gonna go to hue saturation, and now we have a white layer mask, meaning it's gonna be visible everywhere. Okay, that's okay though, because within this, what we're gonna do is choose our colors. So let's start off with green before I chose it right here, but you can do this in your contextual taskbar. So let's start off with green. And then I always think it's a great idea to grab your eyedropper and then really dial in the exact green that you want to select, okay? There we go. It's just gonna get you a little bit more dialed in. So here you can click there and adjust your hue, saturation, your lightness, or you can do the same thing right over here. So it works on both of these. So now I'm adjusting the hue of this green I can adjust the saturation and I can adjust the lightness as well. So if I wanted to make it look, you know, a little bit more like it's in the fall, something like that, I could do this. Or if I wanna make it like super bright and vivid, I could do that as well. And because this is pretty much the only green in my image, I don't have to worry about selecting other parts of the photograph because using my color selection here within hue saturation is pretty much just affecting that green. And I can do the same thing with our sky. So let's go ahead, we're gonna create another hue saturation adjustment layer, okay? Let's go ahead and start off by selecting our blues because that's very similar to the sky color. So always select a color here at the very top and then always make sure you use your eyedropper to select this color here. Fantastic. And now I could adjust the saturation of my blues, making it like a really bright sunny day. Of course I could change the hue, but that's just gonna look weird, right? So we don't need to do that. Now let's go back to this other layer and we're just going to reset our hue here and let's just reset our 
uh, lightness and I'll just make that a little bit more saturated. So we have like a bright saturated image. So each of these three layers is doing something different. This first layer is editing just within the selection that we've created. So we selected the Volkswagen and then we updated the layer mask to not include the headlights. That's only affecting that area. Now this is choosing all of the greens in my entire image and bringing up the saturation of those. And this is choosing all of the blues in my image and increasing the saturation of that as well. So you can see whether you use a selection and a layer mask or you just decide to change the colors blanket across your entire photograph, hue saturation adjustment is the way to go. The last thing I wanna do, let's try to change the color of the road to make it look a little bit more red. So we're gonna go right down here. Again, I'm gonna create a new hue saturation adjustment layer. There we go. Now we're gonna take, this is gonna be in our default colors. We're just gonna move this here over to the left hand side. This time I'm gonna click on colorize and the colorize option actually allows me to add a blanket color to my entire image. So let's go ahead and choose a color that we'd like. We're gonna choose a lightness and a saturation as well. Okay, now this is looking pretty good, but I don't want this to be visible everywhere. So let's click on our layer mask. I'm gonna use our gradient tool. Let's click on our gradients. We're gonna to go to gradient here in our basics. I'm gonna choose our black to white, and then I'm gonna choose my linear gradient and click and drag right up here. So it's just gonna be a little bit of a border right on here between the road and the ground. All right, that's looking pretty good. And now with this colorize option, let's click on hue slash saturation, I can really just dial in the exact color that I want, my saturation and my lightness. So if I wanna go ahead and make the road a little bit more of this kind of you know reddish yellow color, I can do that. And by adjusting my gradient, I'm able to kind of like dial that in exactly where I want. And then this color kind of matches the fence color a little bit more. I can increase the saturation there a little bit and how cool is that? So this is using the colorize option, which will just basically convert this entire area to the exact color that I choose. It's not used as much. Generally, if you wanna convert colors, I recommend just using the traditional tools, but if you want to blanket color something, then colorize is the way to go. Look at that photograph. So we're just gonna go ahead and shift click all of these layers hit Control or Command G to group them together. And then here's our before and our after. We've literally changed all these colors in our image just using the hue saturation adjustment layer. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Join us tomorrow where we show you how to select your subject and make them look their best.